They hood him and they strap his wrists. Their movement's quick, the whole thing swift, so that he has no chance to see the gallows, the machinery of death. The hangman takes pride in his craft, knows a hanging is just punishment, not vengeance or some ordeal drawn to purge the malefactor's heart. Inside the hood, unseeing and constrained, the senses no doubt accentuate time, as dread does for that closer coming end which the temporary shroud portends. Perhaps the hangman knows or guesses this. Certainly he does not mean to linger, to let the sweaty torment of waiting be a millstone to that poor, trembling wretch. No, a quick, humane completion of his task is all he seeks. To which end he has tested the rig, dropped bags of sand to try the rope, he brings a noose about the neck, a scrawny thing like some poor child's, and draws the knot close beneath the ear, the better that the stick will snap. And then, with one quick sidestep move, he brings down his masterful hand, grasps the handle, leans upon the lever, and hears the trapdoor bolt shoot free. The trap holds firm within its frame. It does not budge, it does not fall. And worst of all, the strapped, hooded boy still stands there, stinking of fear. In a sweat of oath and fury, the hangman swears this should not happen, and cursing underneath his breath, sets his charge unloosed aside. Unburdened of its rider, the trap, persuaded by the hangman's boot, does what it should and clatters wide. The young man is brought swiftly back, and a second time the trap resists, refuses to execute its one command until it is once more unburdened, then opens wide its gaping maw and a third time, quick as quick can, the trembling, weak-legged youth is reharnessed by the hangman's sweat-wet, weak and trembling hand. And still, the stubborn trap resists. The beaten hangman says, no more. They strip the hood, unbind his wrists, return the condemned to his cell. Whilst left behind, among his traps, the baggage of his art and craft, the hangman stands and shakes his head, and wonders at the ways of fate, and the boy, the man they could not hang, slumps, scarce believing in his cell. Lord knows, his innocence he loudly claimed. Had justice set his trap that day?